Hi, welcome to this video guide. Today I'm going to show you how to add an investing transaction. So open up Quicken and let's begin. First, go to the investment account you want to add the transaction for. Click on enter transactions and a transaction window will come up. So let's take a look at the options we have available. The first thing you want to do is select an action. You will have many different options like buy, sell, remove share, along with many, many other options. If you are not sure what action to use, use a bank statement or refer back to your brokerage. For this example, I will use the buy action. The next thing you want to do is enter a date and the account this transaction is going to. You can also add a memo if you'd like. I am buying shares. I have the option of selecting where the cash comes from. I will use the cash from this account but you have the option of selecting a different account as a funding account. Okay, the next thing we want to do is enter a security name. Click on the drop down. If you have entered the security before, you will have it as an option to select. If not, click on add security. You need to search by a ticker symbol or company name. In the search results, select the security you're looking for and then click Next. Quicken will now give you details for that security. Verify them and then click Done. Next thing you want to do is add a number of shares. Say I purchased 50. I paid about $200 per share. Quicken will calculate the total cost. If this is the only transaction, go ahead and click enter done. If you have multiple transactions you're entering, click on enter new. This is the only transaction I'm entering, so I'll click enter done. Okay, so we've gone through the flow of entering a transaction, but there's one last thing I wanna show you. For each different transaction type or action, Quicken will require different information. For example, here, and here. You see that the requirements are not always the same for entering a transaction. Make sure to have a statement handy as a reference so that you can enter correct and accurate information. And now, this was how to enter an investment transaction. Thanks for watching.